Wow. You know, what's done in the dark. What's done in the dark. Will surely come to light. You know. And if you want to find out who a person is. At the core of who he is. It'll show up. But as black folk, I know we got a, a mechanism in us that allow us to have a radar when it comes to stuff like this. But um, a surface, a picture has surface. And uh, Jerry Jones admits to being in the 1957 photo trying to stop the black students from entering Little uh, North Little Rock High School. We are surprised that an old wealthy white man once participated in one of the most noble racially charged events? Not at all. Leave it to social media to unearth never before seen photos that some had hoped were long gone. On Wednesday, historian and civil rights activist Joshua Clark Davis tweeted a black and white picture from 1957 of six black students trying to enter North Little Rock High School. They were surrounded by white men and teens trying to prevent them from entering the school. Among the crowd of racists stands the Dallas Cowboys owner, Jerry Jones, who is one of the young men trying to stop the school desegregation from taking place. He was uh, only 14 years old at the time. Uh, interesting, because according to Davis, the now 80-year-old has acknowledged it was him in the picture while no, like nobody knew. While this may be surprising for some, but the multi-billionaire has a sketchy past when it comes to black and brown people. In 2013, he was recorded on video making insensitive comments about a black woman. Famously, in 2017, as NFL players took a knee during the national anthem to protest, excuse me, protest police brutality, the racial injustices, Jones gave his players an ultimatum, stand for the anthem or be cut from the team. Jones has also been called out on several other occasions for being silent on issues facing African Americans, which is disheartening. Consider that many of his players are black. Okay? So it's, it's, it's really interesting. Really interesting. Check this out, you guys. I mean, just, uh, I mean, really, really. I know y'all can't see it, but you can hear it. September 9, 1957, it shows Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones among a crowd of white students trying to keep black students from integrating at an Arkansas high school. This is a Washington Post reporting. Reports that Jones, who was 14 at the time, could be seen standing a few yards from where the six black students were being jostled and repelled with snarling racial slurs by ringleaders of the mob. So joining us now, sports and feature columnist at the Washington Post, Sally Jenkins. Uh, Sally broke this story along with her co-author, David Moranis. We're so happy that you could join us this morning. Thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving to you. And again, I have to commend you on your reporting. This whole Amazing. thing is right. I mean, it's, it's, it's stunning. really stunning. It's fascinating. So, so, so let's start with the picture. Really. Okay, and then we'll talk about, you know, how we could have sort of moved diversity along with coaching in the NFL and, and in sports. Let's start with this photograph, though. What did, what did you, what did you learn about this for, from this photograph? Well, I think the first thing you learn is, is just how, uh, widespread the segregationists were in Little Rock and North Little Rock. Jerry Jones's high school was North Little Rock, which was across the Arkansas River from Central High School, which is the school that got all of the attention when uh, Eisenhower sent in federal troops to protect the Little Rock Nine at that school over there. But the segregationist agitators were actually very active on both sites. And the fact that uh, we knew that generationally Jerry Jones had to have experienced the events in Little Rock more generally, but to find him in the photograph and, and to learn that he experienced one of those incidents right on the schoolhouse steps was pretty revelatory. We were 
blown away, uh, to put it mildly. Let me ask you about this picture just quickly here, because he is saying, he's using, saying, you know, I was just there. I wasn't participating. I was there just sort of to uh, observe. Um, but the, with the photograph, what you, guys, what you point out in your reporting is that in order to get where he was at the top of those stairs, that he had to get up there pretty quickly, and those were sort of the students that were keeping the, um, the black students from entering. Does this say anything about his participation? That, are you making any sort of judgment about it? or? Uh, no. I, well, I, two things. First of all, uh, uh, he, he's, he's a little old at the time, so he's actually younger than the ringleaders that you can see in the photographs. That's one thing that we noticed. We did look at a sequence of photos leading up to those schoolhouse steps, and the white teenagers on the steps did have to move around the black students to get to the top of the steps. Nevertheless, he is uh, further back. He is younger than the lead participants. And so I think that, you know, you simply have to take him at his word unless something else appears, that he was there more out of curiosity and fascination uh, as opposed to being really at the very epicenter of, of the active events. It, he does remember, one thing he told us that did not make it in the story is that he does remember that it got physical. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the tough guys that you see in the center of the photograph end up really pushing uh, the kids down off the steps. Um, and in fact, one of them is arrested. Jerry Jones, huh? Jerry Jones. A lot of people that didn't want to see black folk get beat up or hung, or worse yet, skint. They didn't even show up. They didn't want no parts of it. So another way th of, of my thinking is, just by virtue of him being there, he knew what time it was, and he's part of that group. Look at his behavior. The way it is now. Like I said, one of the hardest things in the world to do is change. You might think a person changed, oh, because they talk nicer or they try to use sweet words. Oh, I'm saved now. And all that kind of stuff. But your behavior is a perfect indication of who you are. Always has been, always will be. He was a racist then, and he's a racist now. And that's all I got to say about it.